Kyle's comments on the uh, turn of uh, the 88 on the 20. Jim, you go make sure NASCAR does something about that. You may be only four foot five, but dude, get the 88 just flat out dumped the 20. He tried to get into turn three and missed, so he throttled up and drove into the into him at the center of the corner. What is wrong with that kid? So we know how Kyle feels. How was your heart after the 88 and the 20 went after each other right in front of you? Well, that kid never fails to amaze me, does he? he uh, I don't know what happened prior to that, so I really can't comment on it. But, I, you know, from what I saw, he, he definitely went down the middle of the corner and punted him. Uh, but what happened back here, I don't know. But it's still, you know, every week he wrecks somebody, and NASCAR's not going to do anything about it. And unfortunately, I'm afraid he's going to get hurt because somebody's going to get angry and, and do it at a higher speed racetrack. Uh, and we don't want to see that. Standing by with Brad Keselowski, fifth place finish tonight. Uh, a little front end damage there on the uh, right front. Take us back, and uh, in your mind, what happened there with Denny? A lot of history between the two of you. Well, first off, congratulations to Carl. I don't know what he does here, but he is the man here. He is, uh, he's really good here. He deserves a lot of credit for that. But, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, we had a long weekend here, and we had a solid car there at the end, a real solid car. Uh, felt like... Uh, felt like we could run up there in the second or third spot and I just didn't get it done on uh, the last few restarts uh, like I needed to but uh, the pit crew today was was phenomenal got me a bunch of spots on pit road and uh, made my job a lot easier I just wish I could have got through and and uh, had a solid finish to go with it but uh, uh, you know I don't know on the last restart there from what I could tell uh, Denny got in the back of me and, and pushed me up the track and you know I was going to return the favor and uh, when he did it to me, I saved it, and when I did it to him, he didn't save it. So, uh, you know, we just got in a push and match. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really hold any grudges. I don't know why he wanted to do that, but uh, whatever. You know, it just it's just the way racing is, I guess. With the history between the two of you and what we saw today, how long does something like this continue? It doesn't to me. I'm, to me, I was over it. I'm focused on uh, running the 88 Jr. Motorsports car and, and trying to run up front and chase down Carl and, and try to finish second in points. I haven't put any thought into it, and uh, apparently he has. Well, Denny Hamlin is the other side of the 88-20 story today. Uh, Brad seeming to indicate that he's over it, and he think you kind of started it today. Denny, what do you have to say? <laughs> uh, I, you know, I can sit here and bash him for the next 20 seconds or so and give you all a bunch of sound bites and everything. Um, but I'm just happy I signed up for next week's nationwide race. And, you know, and, uh, in turn, you know, there's a lot of guys that, uh, that owe him. Uh, there's a lot of guys that have a lot of chips that they're going to cash in. I'm just going to be the first to the pay window. You think that NASCAR needs to get involved with Brad now at this point? No, no, I'll take care of him. It's no biggie. I got him. All right, Denny Hamlin. Obvious where he stands, guys.